Welcome to the second video discussing what we do with our old photos, how to digitize them, get them on our computers, enhance them, enjoy them, make them into modern images. 35 millimeter slides we're paying close attention to. I'm sure we've all got lots of these in our loft. The best way to do it is to have it scanned professionally and here's an example of a professional scan. But today we're going to talk about uh, a cheap way of just looking through the slides, maybe to pick the best ones out that we're going to use, uh, send off to be high res scanned. You see I've set up a rig here with uh, a selfie stick, an easy stand and just put this in front of the best digital camera that I've got that will take close-up photos. Setting the focus to manual focus and uh, taking it from there really. Bit of an investigation. We've got our slide set up in the selfie stick holder. We've got our camera focused as close as it will go. We need some light behind the slide, so simply in this case, we're only rough photo, so put the light behind it like that, set the manual exposure till it looks about right, and click and press the button. That's one done. And this is what we're going to do. Put the next slide in, we take that one out. It's just on. Put that one in. We only need it roughly lined up. That's the Roughly lined up there. We need our light behind it again. Press the button. And that's two slides done. Okay, so we take the picture off the camera and we put it on our computer. And we find it on our computer. And uh, here it is in its rough form here. I'll just open it up. I'll do this as we go now. See what we've got. It's only fair. And there's the rough shot of our slide. See, it's of a a4 at full far in the 1960s and uh, you can just about see what's going on just as an example let's see if we can tidy it up in Photoshop so we get the number 210 and uh, we close these open up Photoshop and what was it number 210 so let's open 210 don't know if we are so it's not in that folder it'll be in originals 210, there it is. So we've got it in 210, there's it opened in Photoshop. We just set it on fit screen and we just trim it and just give it some quick just select the bit that you want. It's not quite square, so we just dab it round a bit, square it up, trim that. There it is on there. Put it on fit, fit screen. There you can see you you can see that we've got the rough image. What we've got on the slide there, not terribly good quality, not terribly sharp, but not bad. It gives you an idea of what's going on. I'm going to show you how to do it properly later, but uh, we could quickly just auto contrast that and put a bit of sharpness on it. And that make it a bit lighter now that we've messed about with it. It's looking a bit better. Just take that spot out in the sky. There's a couple of spots on the front of the low coat. We'll just take them out as well while we're doing them. And uh, there we have it, there's your rough image of your A4 from your slide. Uh, to do it properly you've got to have them scanned properly but that will give you an idea of which ones are the good ones that you can send off for scanning. Let's just open up the nice one that we did have scanned, scanned properly and we'll find that in our file here. Let's scroll down, there it is there, image 0016 let's open that up and look at that that's what it looks like when it, 
it's been scanned properly so you've got our rough one and the scanned properly image and this one will take that fit screen but to be honest that's all I want that's about a 10.8 print of an ISA 4 at 4 far and that's our rough one I'm not saying that's better than that but clearly the good one's the good one and the rough one's the rough one but it's just an example of what's going on thank you thanks for watching so there we have it that's the rough one that we did uh, so maybe you guys can experiment yourselves and see if you can do better with a close-up lens but here's the good one I will put a recommendation in again if you want to get them as good as that look up on the internet update photo .co .uk, send it off for scanning and you'll get an image as good as that